Can you guys hear me? Perfect. What's up, Crazy Cards 37? How's it going, man? You're the lone wolf in here. Hey, what's up, Nick? How's it going, man? Oh, nice. Nice. Gotta love COMC. All right, there we go. Yeah, man, why not? That's like the place that I go to. Uh, what's up, Hobby Card Hits? Oh, that's super weird. There must be a delay. I actually went live like, <laughs> I think like three minutes ago and it was super embarrassing because no one was the, in there for like a minute and like 30 seconds and I'm like wow really no one wants to watch this like that's sad <laughs> there we go what's up Royals fan for pick you pick you I mean I, I can't help it uh, the random name generator <laughs> the random name generator might pick you what's up Josh What's up, Steelers84, Steeler Nation? What's up, Samantha? How's it going? What's up, Bradley, Big Sean, Dave? What's up, guys? I'll pay for your medical school. Oh, okay, that that's a deal. That's definitely a deal. What's up, Jason? How's it going, man? What's up, Mdale Kid? Hey, go Steelers, let's go. Oh, yeah, it's a party in here. It's a party in here, Nick. I like it. What's up, Owen? Go Colts. Well, I have to say, they're a pretty popular team right now. So what kind of doctor do I want to be? Wow, that's just getting straight down to it. <laughs> um, I guess it, it kind of depends on uh you know it kind of depends on my board scores i can't choose unfortunately uh i probably would uh i'd probably have to say a neurologist so like a brain and a spinal cord doctor uh i think that stuff's kind of cool uh i work actually at a gastroenterology and i schedule a gastroenterology office right now and i schedule colonoscopies all day so that's pretty exciting but so i saw a question what do i think of the browns right now Browns are scary. I'm definitely scared for how good the Browns are going to be. Um, they're already a pretty solid team. I'm, I think that they need maybe like one or two more drafts, and I think that they'll be uh, they'll be a force to be reckoned with in the AFC North. They're not going to be a joke anymore. What's up, card guy? Go Texans. All right. Be a dentist. That's where the money is at. Yeah, I thought I thought about dentistry, but there's like a couple things that I excluded. I, I can't do teeth. I can't do skin, and I, I I can't do feet. I can't do those. Those are just the ones that I can't do. I live in Canton, so it's about time the Browns are good. Oh, yeah. What's up, Mr. D? What's up, Ashy? Hey, thanks, thanks. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, it's popping in here now. This is awesome, guys. Super excited. No skin, but cutting into brains is okay. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, cutting into brains is absolutely fine. Go Broncos and Texans. Okay, I decent teams there. Hey there, congrats on the subs. Thank you. What's up, Cade? What's up, dude room? Amen on the no feet. Yeah, I can't be a podiatrist. I can't, like, maybe feet once in a while, like, great while, but that's about it. What's up, 
What's up, all Card Nation? Go Cowboys. All right, Larry. Go Jets. Fly, Eagles fly. Hey, thanks, Glenn. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching that. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. The lucky rub. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, guys. First things first, um, I'm going to do the drawing at the end, so just keep waiting on there. There's one thing I wanted to announce in this uh, video, and you guys can, like, ask questions throughout. I don't really, uh, I don't really have to, like, uh, you know, it's not going to be, like, in a crazy order or anything. There's only one thing I have to announce. Um, uh, I actually started my own e eBay account. Uh, I know everyone's done this probably before. So there's my eBay handle, and the way you'll know it is I actually have my, uh, uh, like, Rocket Cards 34 logo on there. So you'll know it's me. Um, so basically, I... Uh, started the eBay because I'm just trying to get rid of some of the cards. If you guys want any cards on there, uh, ask me. I'd rather sell through Instagram rather than eBay. If not, I get it. No worries. So I'll leave that up there. Uh, I've only have like 10 cards posted, so I, I, I'm in the process of uploading. Uh, but yeah, so there's that. And so what I wanted to do first is we're kind of like... I don't, I don't know. Would you guys say we're like halfway to like three quarters of the way through like the products season? I don't really know. I don't know how much is left. I know that like Select's coming out and Case is coming out. Contenders is coming out. Optic came out today. Yeah, like half the mesh. Yeah. Probably 80%? Okay. Go Rams. Yep. Gotta love Todd Gurley. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Contenders and Optic. But what I kind of wanted to do is I kind of wanted to reminisce a little bit. Oh, thanks, Sim. I appreciate it. I kind of wanted to reminisce and bring back some of the first boxes that were released this year and get your guys' opinions on the products. I think it'd be cool to kind of discuss what you guys thought, kind of get some, you know, yay, nay, whatever. So I'm going to put a hobby box in, uh, in front of the camera. You let me know what you think of it, all right? Let's find the stack here. We'll start out with one of the kind of first ones. Boom. 2018 Classics. What would you guys think of this? I thought that this product was super cool. They definitely improved since last year. Decent. Yeah. I love Classics too. 7 out of 10. Yay for the price. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks, Mark. I appreciate it. Favorite product. Meh. Fun. Yeah, I, I kind of liked it just because of how, like, uh, how much they improved on it since last year. Uh, yeah, Sam, sorry, it's too late. I It's okay, though. Um, I'll be doing some more giveaways here soon. But, yeah, so um, definitely one of my favorite products. The Optichromes look sweet. The buybacks look sweet. A um, lot more numbered cards in there. So I thought that one was kind of cool. So, all right, so definitely a lot of people enjoyed this one. Next one we got here. This one's kind of uh this one's kind of a controversial one. What about this guy? 2018 certified. What do you guys think of this one? Thanks, Hunter. I appreciate it. All right, six out of ten. Hate it. All right. Yay when you get all the hits. Overpriced for what you get. Yeah, this sits at about 120, 125 bucks a box, I think. Not a big fan. Okay, so this is best product this year. Okay. Oh, a Baker RPA. That's nice. Very OP. Gotten a lot of solid hits out of it this year. I like certified. Okay. Six out of ten. Yeah, I'm kind of getting. Oh yeah, Nick. I definitely agree. When it was at a hundred bucks on Blowout's website, this was like a steal. I definitely should have grabbed some more of this. I don't know if you did. I, no, BMR, uh, I'm doing it at the end. Don't worry. Uh, we're reviewing some products right now. Would I be interested in doing Throwback Thursday? I actually do have a very uh, non-uploaded Throwback Thursday series on my channel. Uh, I don't add to it too often simply because there's been so much stuff coming out recently that I just don't have the funds for it, unfortunately. Uh, but 
I thought that this stuff was kind of cool. I pulled a nasty, my first one of one card, as you guys have probably watched on my channel before, out of this, so I am a little biased. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to give this one like a 6 or a 7 out of 10. I, You guys know this. I'm not a real huge fan of pulling like the one-color jersey non-numbered cards out of there. I think that they're kind of, I don't know, not worthless. They're just kind of lame. Uh I like numbered stuff. I don't care if it's numbered to 1,500. I just like it numbered, and I think that that's kind of meh. Oh, yeah, you're right, Nick. The RPAs looked sweet. The patches on all of them were, like, super high quality. Better as a Steelers fan, Juju or Antonio Brown? Uh, I This year, Juju's a better... Yeah, I don't like pulling Panini points. I think Juju is playing better this year, but overall, in terms of skill, I think Antonio Brown's better. The problem with Antonio Brown is that everyone's just double covering him, and he's complaining and he's getting mad, but I mean, you know, you're one of the best wide receivers in the league. I mean, you're going to get double covered, so that's just how it goes. All the sweet mem cards are player-worn. Yeah, player-worn versus game-worn is just another bleh. opinion. Gronk versus Kelsey. Oh, Gronk every single time. That man is an animal. He controls the game. I, he's un, he's crazy. I mean, even though he has, like, bionic limbs now because he's been injured. But, uh, but yeah. So, all right. 2018 certified. 6 to 7 out of 10. Meh. Product. All right, guys. Next one here. Not a lot of you have ripped it, but probably watched a lot of videos on it. This bad boy. What we got? 2018 Spectra. 10 out of 10, 7 out of 10, 7 out of 10, amazing. 9, yeah, this stuff, this stuff's pretty popular. I'm, I think it's a tad overpriced. Uh, I got it for like 270 bucks, but, uh, so Spectra is fun to watch. I watch so many people open up Spectra just because it's one of my favorite products. The problem is, is their RPAs just don't hold their value. Jessica says a 9 out of 10. Yeah, it's the RPAs and the patches just don't hold their value. I mean, I recently just sold like, yeah, definitely. Definitely meant for uh, breaks. Yeah, it's so expensive. I My RPA, who did I pull? Traquan Smith. It's like a $15 card. And I pulled a just, my, my best card in there was a dual patch of Cortland Sutton and Eric Berry numbered to four. And I just sold that on eBay for like 30 bucks. I got like set pro maybe 70 bucks back out of that 280. Uh, so definitely I thought it was, but it was such a fun experience. The cards are such high quality. Yeah. Yeah. Big oof. I was very like, are you serious? <laughs> but, uh, you know, this, the cards look great. I just wish they held their value a little more. That's all. So Spectra looks great. Uh, so much fun to open. But this is not a product that you're uh, going to get your money back in anytime soon. So that's, so Spectra, eh, 6 to 7. 10 on looks. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right, Mesh. It's better to just buy your singles. So, uh, it's just buy your singles and uh, bring back tops 100%. 100%. All right, guys, this next one, what we got here? 2018 Phoenix. What do you guys think of this product? Hey, what's up, Corner Kick Lucas? I was waiting on you, man. <laughs> All right, nine and a half out of ten. Nine, seven, seven, ten. Yeah, this stuff looks great. It's, it's okay. My box wasn't the best, so... Um, it's whatever. I mean, it's fun to open. Uh, cool parallels. Patches look great. W yeah, I wish the color bursts were numbered too. But the color rush and the color burst, <laughs> I'll do 12. <laughs> hey man, it's just an empty box, I think. <laughs> that's funny. Got a 25 Saquon RPA? That's insane. You got shorter to mem. That's lame. Well, Panini. All right, sold. 12 bucks, empty box. I'll autograph it for you. Coming your way. Yeah, Jessica, there are some plain patches. The crazy patches are only on, like, numbered out of 10 or numbered out of 15 or whatever. I mean, I got, like, a Jalen Samuels or James Washington RPA, and the patch was kind of lame on it. But the base looked great, and they're always in, like, super good condition. I like them. 
So Phoenix gets about an eight from me, I'd say, in terms of value, in terms of fun to rip. That's kind of how much did I pay? I paid like one twelve shipped or something like that. Hit our Allen Helmet Auto. Oh, that's a huge pull. That's a huge pull. So I'd say eight, maybe. Eight, seven and a half, eight. All right, this is a very. <laughs> All right, so this one, Nick, this is kind of a. Uh, this, let's see what you guys think of this one. We need. Oh, hey, what's up, HH Twin Breaks? And I agree, black gold was fun. How about this guy? Playbook. What are we thinking on Playbook? Five. Eight and a half. Six and a half. Break, yeah. Four. <laughs> uh, playbook's like $140 a box. And you get four cards. You get two jerseys and two autos. One of those autos is a playbook. Yeah, this was... Uh, that's the biggest thing. Those memorabilia cards sucked. <laughs> I opened this box, and I like the Kyle Laletta. Everyone was like, oh, that card's crap. It's Kyle Laletta. I don't mind getting a rookie quarterback auto. But uh, the booklets look amazing. The booklets look amazing, but, like, I mean, the other cards are just, like, meh. Jamal Adams auto, who I thought was a rookie, and I confused him with Josh Adams one of those days. Um, and then I got two other jersey cards. I was like, bleh. Yeah, this is like a literally, it's 140 bucks for the booklet. They actually magical pigs, they have like holders for them too. They're they're kind of cool. They're like this long or something like that, and you can put the booklet in that's already open and they have a sleeve and stuff. They protect them pretty well, but if you don't have those cuz they're hard to get, they're very hard. And knowing Panini's quality control, they probably come out with a couple nicks and bangs anyways. But, yeah, they are expensive. You're right, Justin. You're right. So I'm giving this like a five. This is like a straight five. And this would have gotten a three for me had it not been the booklets. If the booklets look cr like crap, then the What's the best box I've ever opened? In terms of price, um, probably um, – in terms of price, Spectra for sure – but the most fun box I ever opened, just for its price at the time, was when I pre-ordered this bad boy, 17 Select, my favorite product of all time. This was, like, perfectly priced, perfect, like, just an amazing product overall. I loved it. Steve. All right, and then actually I missed a box for my 18 Hobby Box collection. So what do you guys think of this? 2018 Elite. What are we thinking on 18 Elite? 9 out of 10. A lot of people, like, diss on Elite a lot. I mean, it's it was priced at, like, 110, but I thought it was pretty solid. I mean, I love the parallels. I love the, uh, I mean, the, what are they? Oh, crap. What are they called? The auto, the on-card autos. Someone help me out, guys. Pen pals. That's what they are. Yeah, pen pals are the uh, autos. Sorry, it's one of those long days. But yeah, yep. Thank you, guys. Pen pals. Um, but yeah, I thought that this stuff was cool. I wish it would have been like a hundred dollar box myself. Oh, sorry, CKL. I've had some pretty decent luck with it. This was the box I actually ripped with, with uh, Dave's Cards 32 at the National. Uh, we kind of split the hits there. So, yeah, i give this like a 6 out of 10. The cards look sweet, but, you know, it's not high-end, and it's not really meant to be high-end. But, of course, Panini makes the prices high-end. So, there's Elite. What's next? All right, here's a blast from the past. What's up, B-Pats? How's it going, man? What about this guy? Luminance. Haven't seen anyone open this stuff in forever, and, I, and there's a reason. What are we thinking on Luminance? Five. Hate it. Five. Four. Hate it. Five. Yeah. 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 It's, honestly... 
I thought that the base cards in this stuff were awesome. Like, the base cards were super sleek, and, like, I don't know, they just looked cool. But in terms of, like, uh, yeah, the on-card autos look sick, but the jerseys kind of suck, and I just thought that the designs for the, like, I don't know, the designs kind of looked lame, to be honest with you. They just kept the pictures, kind of changed the, like, lighting and coloring on the card, and then they just kind of slapped an auto on there. Panini Chronicles, that would be cool. Oh, yeah, the memorabilia cards are crap. I mean, there's, there's like, they're not good at all. I've got a Luke Keekley, and I'm like, this is not worth much. I think they will, too. I think the Panini, I agree, Justin. I think Panini's going to dump this product. It didn't, it did really good at the beginning, but it was one of the first products where they had people, like, you know, it was just one of the first products of the year, so everyone's, like, dying to open something up. So I'm going to give Luminance, like, a five, probably. Probably a five, yeah. So goodbye, Luminance. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. All right. The moment we've all been waiting for. What are we thinking on this year's prism? Okay, <laughs> 1.1. Wow. 10, 8.5, 8, 7, 8, 8, 8, 4. 0. 0. 0.0. I like it, Ski Bone. Nice stuff. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, eight because you got a carry on Johnson Green Crystal Auto? That's a nasty hit, man. Yeah, I'm going to give this stuff like a three or four. The cards look great, but at like a hundred and whatever it was when it was like ripped, it was, it's so overpriced. So overpriced. Like this stuff is, and it's annoying how you can get three base autos in a box. That's like the worst part about this product. Like, I would be livid. Yeah, and I and I yeah, and points too. And and I'm, you know, honestly with this box, I pulled like a Russell Gage auto. And I'm like, who in the world is Russell Gage? And you know, I don't follow the NFL like to a T, so I don't really know. And I'm like, I would have much rather honestly had points than this guy. So, but you can't beat the parallels for this set. The green, whatever, the hypers, those look sick. The, like, blue laser mill, those are awesome, too. But, uh, yeah, I'm giving this, like, a three or four. Yeah, we did Phoenix Magical Pigs. That was a popular one. Everyone loved that one. I did, too. All right, what are we thinking here? Unparalleled. Four, five, six, seven, five. Yeah, I like the look too, honestly, dude room. Nick Chubb Pulsar Auto. That's nasty, Brad. 11. Wow. That's off the scale. Solid five. Yeah. It's okay. I mean, I think that they put a lot of effort into their base cards and not enough into their hits. Like, even if it's like, I don't know, like a Cameron Wake base card that has the sweetest design and it's not numbered, it's still a Cameron Wake base card and it's still going to sell for like 10 cents. So I think they need to kind of dial it back on the base stuff and kind of just work on their parallels and work on their numbered stuff because I pulled an RPA out of here that wasn't even numbered and I'm like, are you guys serious? Like, all RPA should be numbered. I don't care if it's numbered to 1,000. I don't care if it's numbered to 1,500. I think it should be numbered. So, and especially, like, I don't know. I just, com 
I might be complaining too much, but why aren't the the, the Galactics numbered to two? Like, why don't they have the serial numbered? I, it's kind of weird, but whatever. I don't make the cards. But, yeah, I give them parallel like a four. I would not buy this again. I would buy it at like 60 bucks a box, and that's about it. So there it goes. I'm paralleled. Goodbye. All right. What about this? Giveaway's coming up soon. What about elements? What do you guys think about elements? One. Nine. Six. Eight. Two. 1.3, a break product. Yeah, it is a break product. Three. Yeah, I thought, like, when they hyped it up, it was super cool, but, like, the ideas were awesome, and I'm a nerd, and I majored in all that chemistry and science stuff, so I was like, Bleh. like, this is going to be super cool. But these cards came out terrible. Like, there were teams printed on there that weren't even the right teams. Like, cars were damaged. The ink didn't even go on the metal right. I was like, what in the world is going on? But, yeah. Oh, yeah. The cars with the metal borders, Nick, those were sweet. I have a Christian Kirk one that I'm selling on my eBay right now. And those cars always come out, like, really nice. because Just because they're protected by that metal border. But, like, the rounded print, like, the rounded metal cards come out terrible. Uh, patches come out terrible. Yeah, it it just was the worst quality control I think I've ever seen in a product release. Next to Chris G's first off the line box that had like 42 error base cards. That was hilarious. I felt so bad for him, but I'm like, you guys got to be kidding me. The first look of a product and you put in 40 some error cards in the one box. Dear Lord, <laughs> that was terrible. So elements, I give it like a three or a four just because it's cool. All right, two more guys, and then we'll do the giveaway. It is terrible. I agree. What about this one? Playoff. Playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs. Playoffs? Oh, Broncos Cards 55, the giveaway. I'm giving away a hobby box of 2018 Optic Football. Zero point eight six eight seven five out of ten. I like how they doubled the hits. Fun cheap product. Six. I did like. Oh, all the entries have already been up, man. They've been up for a while. Sorry. Oh, you got a Trubisky auto. That's nasty. And yeah, dude, room. That is the most annoying thing about this. None of the hits are numbered. Like I got two autos out of my box. None of them are numbered. My only numbered card was a Trubisky patch. I'm like, what in the world? Why are we not numbering cards here? Bradley Chubb contenders auto. That's nasty. <laughs> I just, the hits are cool, but like, I think I got two extra hits that were a combined like $10 and I paid more than double the price for the box. So, oof, but whatever. Oh yeah. And it was a Trubisky that wasn't even printed right. It said he played for the Broncos. Yeah, I got the error card where you pay for the Broncos. Yeah. Yeah. That one. So, but the patch was nasty, but and I just sold it on eBay today for like seven bucks. But yeah, it's whatever. Typical Panini and their quality control. So playoff is gone. Now, I have one more box, and it's the best product of the year, in my opinion. What do you guys think it is? The best product, bang for its buck. What do you guys think it is? Oh, yeah. Boom. XR. I love XR. XR is amazing. This stuff is, like, so underrated. Like, and I know, like, a lot of people say this product, like, flooded the market with one-of-ones, and it's kind of crappy. But it doesn't matter, really, if it's a one-of-one -one or not. You're still going to get your money back. Absolute, 
What do I think of Absolute? It's one of those pro. It reminds me so much of Playbook. It's so so hit or miss. Like it's not even like the average box is like forty bucks, and that shouldn't be the average price of a one hundred and forty dollar box, in my opinion. The average box of XR is like fifty bucks, which fifty percent return on a box of cards every single time. Yeah, you know, it's not the best, but, like, that's the average. Like, I pulled a one one The cards look sweet. There's, you know, rainbows for rainbow chasers. The base look nice. You get tons of number, tons of hits. Like, this stuff, if I, I if Rocket Cards 34 was to endorse a product, I am pro XR 2018. Like, this stuff is awesome. And exact, yeah, Obsidian is overpriced too. I think that it looks great. Prestige, I honestly didn't open any. And I know, guys, I missed a couple products, so I'm like, bleh. Like, I can't review all of them. Prestige looks okay. Um, it's definitely one of those products that reminds me of Luminance, where it's like you're just biting at the bit to open cards because you, they've been gone for so long. Uh, but yet, yet again, it's just one of those kind of basic products with some basic autos. So it's one of those that you buy, and then as soon as you open it, you sell it because it will never hold its value. Pulled a Baker Redemption patch auto number to two. Man, congrats. I would take Obsidian over Playbook too every single day. I regret buying Playbook. I wish I would have done Obsidian. And Oh, yeah, I forgot about my Illusions box. Where is that? Well, I did like Illusions. Sorry, I forgot about that one. My favorite product was an up, Upper Deck. Yeah, right. <laughs> Illusions was cool. I think Illusions was kind of meh. I, I it was it was okay. I liked Illusions last year, honestly. Uh, but this year it was just a notch lower. But XR for me gets like a nine. XR gets like a nine. So, and the box toppers. The box toppers were sick this year. Overall, I mean, last year they were just a numbered base card. Like, who's gonna buy those just because they're in a in a plastic case doesn't mean that I want to pay an extra five dollars. I pulled like a Brock or a no, I'm not Brock. I pulled a Brian Hoyer base card. I'm like, okay, this is still like fifty cents. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, so this is my favorite product of the year. I thought that was fun, guys. I just kind of wanted to do that, get your opinions on m most of the products. I, I didn't open open up all of them so far. It just wasn't in the cards for me. No pun intended. So. uh so, yeah, so is Brian Hoyer still? I don't even know. I think he might be a backup or something like that. Do I like Donruss? I actually am planning on snagging a box of Donruss when it gets super cheap. Far too much base for me, honestly. Uh, just I, I just don't collect base. Um, and But it's it's still cool. Rookies and Stars, I thought about snagging that. Um yeah, I if if XR is sitting still at like 110 bucks a box, I haven't seen it. But if it's still sitting at 110 bucks a box, it was probably one of my favorite products. Didn't buy any score, still base heavy there, um, and I didn't want to. It was like 100 bucks a box. It's all about that base, no treble. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it's about 100 bucks a box, and I'm like, eh. XR for 95 bucks. Ah, that's a good one. So uh, yeah. But, well, I don't want to keep you guys too long. So, do you guys want me to start the giveaway? All right. You guys have spoken, so I'm starting the giveaway. So, what I did was I actually took the time to... Uh, I'll move these out of the way i actually took the time to go to the youtube video and type out all of your guys's names and do a word document and then whoever gave and then uh kid cadority cards message them i got all of the names who donated cards so all of you in the chat if you're watching thank you so much for donating cards um you know that's definitely going to make their day i follow their twitter account and now they have a website too cadority cards com and the like the faces of those kids getting those cards like, or, yeah, the faces of the kids getting those cards, they're, like, super happy. 
And it just kind of makes me happy that, you know, I was able to give some of the cards that just sit in my boxes at home to them. So then like, you know, they're getting some cool stuff. Um, but yeah, I typed out all the names. I think there were like 225 na different comments. So it definitely took me a while. Um, because I couldn't do like the random comment generator because it doesn't list them. So I did all that, and then I got all the names for um, the giveaway and from Kidority Cards, and I added five extra entries for each one. So to those guys, you know who you are. Thank you so much. Yeah, man, hashtag hard work. I put in the work for you guys. You don't see what goes on behind the scenes, but I put in the work. So let me get my laptop here. So I'm going to put this bad boy right here. How many times do you guys want me to random this? What are you thinking? It's got to be under like 10. Three, 19. No way, man. I'm not doing 19. Seven, eight, eight. One random mojo. <laughs> Seven, six, eight. 172. All right. We're doing it. 172, guys. So uh, here we go. No, I'm just kidding. Seven, four, five, six. Oh, gosh. Let's do, let's do five. How's five sound? Let's do five. <laughs> See you fellas in the morning. All right. So I got my random.org here. Let's see if I can move this closer. I know it's going to be kind of hard to see. Hmm. Actually, I'll just click the random, and then uh, I'll move the camera closer. So we're going to do it five times, all right? And then I got to get a filler here. Um, let's see here. Got to get a filler here to block the top name. So... Here we go, guys. Good luck to everyone, and thank you all for entering the 1K subscriber giveaway. You guys are awesome. You guys are why I do this. Clear your browser history before you start. Oh, don't worry, man. I already did. No, I'm just kidding. Um, all right. Randomize. Here we go. Number one. Top name. Top name. We got Samuel Patton. Sorry, man. So that's one. All right, with Samuel Patton at the top, and then we had, who was down at the bottom? We had Blake Eddington at the bottom. All right, round two. At the top, we had Cardman, 330, followed by Dylan, Brandon, Silvio, Scott, Mr. D's. Corner kick Lucas. And all the way down. All the way down to entry number 223, which was Clayton Mordecai. All right. Click number three. Oh, it didn't go. Sorry, guys. It didn't go. There we go. Click number three was Matt Dake. Cardman 330. Oh, Cardman 330. Paul Otterman, Douglas McRib, Sam Patton. Man, Sam Patton got one and five. That's crazy. Broncos cards. All right. And then let's scroll down through. All the way down to the last number who was Robert Diaz. All right, guys. This is number four. You guys feeling the suspense yet? Number four. Number four had Jets card 17 at the top. A orange. L I don't know what that was. Ray Herrera, Jeremy Heller, Nate Oots, Timothy Pettit. All the way down to the Mafia Gang. All right. Well, that is very intimidating. I will try to put their name up at the top a little higher because you know, I don't want to mess with the Mafia. Did you win yet? Well, I'm about to do number five. So here we go, guys. Number five. I'm going to put the filler up at the top here, and I'm going to, like, scroll up to, like, number 10, and then um, then I'll do a slow roll from there. Sound good? All right. So the Mafia Gang is my burner account. Oh, gosh. <laughs> 
All right, guys. Good luck. All right. Here we go. So number 10, we have Ray Herrera. Number nine, BDX Nation. Number eight, Carter Gilkison. Seven, Jetman 80. Oh, seven, Jetman. So close. Six, Michael McManus. Top five. HH Twin Breaks. Oh, man. So close, Brian. Number four, Brandon Merrill. Number three, Larry Bowles. Number two, Seattle Packbuster. And the winner is Brian French. Brian, are you in here, man? Brian French, you are the winner of a 2018 Hobby box of Optic Football. Brian French, where are you at? Are you in here, bud? Rigged, rigged. <laughs> Must be. I don't know if Brian's in here, but basically how I'm going to work this. Yeah, congrats, Brian. So how this is going to work, you're in there, Cade. Don't worry, man. So what I'm going to do, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to give him 24 hours um, to post uh, or to, like, contact me through email. No, I, no, I rolled it five times. Um, so let's see, what was I going to do? Sorry, I was reading all the comments. I'm like, what's going on? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him 24 hours to email me at rocketcards34 uh, at gmail.com. Um, and after that 24 hours, I will put out a video that basically states like, Hey, you didn't claim it. Uh, it's live and I'll do it again. So that's how it's going to work. Um, yeah, don't worry guys. I got all of them accounted for. No worries. I got all the votes. Um, I made sure I actually went through the list twice <laughs> and that took a lot longer than what I expected. So everyone's in there. All of the, uh, entries are in there, whether you donated or not. Um, Brian French won. So Brian, if you're watching this man, send me an email at rocketcards 34 at gmail.com. Uh, you got 24 hours to email me, uh, tomorrow night at nine 20. And then I will, uh, you know, give me my, give, give you, uh, or give me your address. And then once I get my hobby boxes in, um, I will ship it to you. I don't know if I can get it to you by Christmas, but I'll try my best. Um, Hey, I was 20th. Do I get a consolation prize? <laughs> you get a virtual high five from me, Nick. So good job, man. Good job. <laughs> so, uh, oh, a Barry Sanders base. That's too much, man. I will give you the finest Ryan leaf that I have. Um, but, uh, yeah, that'll do it for the giveaway, guys. For this one, um, I have had people not claim things in the past. What's up, AJG? Um, so, uh, basically, uh, if he doesn't claim it in 24 hours, then it's fair game. So, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, you guys keep on the lookout on my Instagram, YouTube. I'll post a video. And then if he doesn't claim it in 24 hours, I will go live again and give it away. But I hope you guys had fun. It was fun kind of reviewing the hobby boxes. And I didn't do the comments. I kind of thought the hobby boxes would be cooler. Um, but if you go through that video, my 1K subscriber giveaway video, and listen to all, and read all the comments, there's a lot of good stuff in there. Uh, definitely some nice heartwarming comments about what you're thankful for. People are thankful for their families. People are thankful for, you know, the hobby, the people in it. Um, so, yeah. So maybe like a couple minutes we'll do some last questions. Uh, and then I'll probably call it a day. Predictions for 2018 Select. I think it's going to be amazing. I think it's going to be amazing. Um, I hope that the price goes down a little bit. Uh, 175 pre-order is a little steep, and I only see it uh, going up. 
So, uh, but yeah, they're gorgeous. I've seen the like XR XRC select rookies, and they look amazing. So, yeah, I am like super super excited. Oh, someone asked who I PC'd. Uh, my PC is Walter Payton. I collect Walter Payton. Uh, team, I collect the Steelers. And then I also am have a Hall of Fame rookie card collection. I'm trying to get a rookie card of every single Hall of Famer. Uh, just kind of something I like. Uh, maybe a spoiler alert of what's coming next on my channel. Uh, maybe, maybe not. So, uh, But yeah, I hope Select looked sweet. More than likely, there's points in there. <laughs> Yeah, dude, room. It it happens all the time. Like a lot of my videos, it'll just be like, I I did a giveaway at like 750 subs, or, or no, it was actually a 400 subs one, and a lot of people joined. And as soon as I announced the name, it was like rigged. I don't see my name, a bunch of stuff, and I'm like, come on, man. Like I worked like an hour on typing out all of these names and making sure I got them all. Like there were even some that like people commented on the video twice, and I'm like. You can't do that, man. So I had to take out the names. So, but yeah, so I got everyone this time. No worries. So, but yeah, um, I hope 18 selects is going to be sweet. I'm a little worried about contenders. What's up, Lone Star? How's it going, man? I'm a little worried about contenders. I'm a huge skeptic. Um, where's Retail King? <laughs> A little skeptical of contenders just because I have a feeling there's going to be like four, uh, I have a feeling there's literally going to be like four crap autos in there and one decent one, just like it is all the time. But I hope that it proves me wrong. And yeah, everything is just insanely overpriced. It's getting a little ridiculous. I wish, I miss back in the heyday like of collecting when I collected back in like 2008, 2009, like your expensive hobby boxes, like a little more expensive were like 110 bucks, not 140, 150. Uh, I, my favorite product still of all time of all time is Donruss classics. I love Donruss classics 2000, like three to 2000 and like eight or nine. That is my favorite product of all time. Uh, it was a great, it was like 80 bucks a box, gave you four hits, three or four hits, and you could pull autos and jerseys of legends. Like, you can't get anything for that for, like, the same price. It, it was just great stuff. So, uh, but, yeah. So, well, go back to 2012, get Tops Update Baseball cheap. Yeah, I don't really know a whole lot about baseball. I do have a baseball video coming out soon. Um, yeah, it, it's pretty funny. I'm not going to lie to you. I... You know, for you baseball guys, you guys were like, finally, baseball. And then for me, I'm like, who are these people? I know baseball a little bit. I know the stars, but, like, there's some people in there that I had no idea. I don't even know the variations. I don't know anything. So it's kind of comical for you baseball guys. I'm going to upload and uh, <laughs> how to baseball, corner kick Lucas, how to open baseball. <laughs> Aaron Judge? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Yeah, it, the worst is with the rookies. Like, there, I pulled like a numbered out of ten rookie, and I, it turns out later on he wasn't really much of anything. But I was just like, yeah, this guy's not any, you know, he's not any good. So I was like, meh. Oh well. But it'll be a fun video for you guys. If you find any short prints in there, or variations, let me know in the comments below because I know nothing about it. Uh, so, but that'll be it for today, guys. Thank you all again for entering for the 1K subscriber giveaway. And thank you to all, like a special thanks to all you guys who donated to Cadority Cards. Um, that was super cool. Uh, you really made their day. I got a lot of good stuff from the owners of Cadority Cards. Um, and they were thankful for like, you know, doing all that stuff. And, uh, you know, I hope you guys still like my channel and are, still are liking all the videos that I'm uploading. I'm kind of trying to revamp it for you guys um, and give some more stuff away. I don't know when um, I don't know when I'll do another giveaway, uh, and I don't know when the next time is I'll go live. If you like me going live, I can probably try to go live again. Good night, Ashy. Uh, thanks for joining, man. I can go live again if you'd like. If not, you know I'll only do it once in a while. But oh, Nick, that hurts right in the heart. You unsubbed after not winning. 
man, that hurts. <laughs> so, uh, all right, guys, that'll be it for today. Uh, Rocket Cards 34 signing off for tonight. Thanks again. Uh, and you guys made this all possible. So give yourself a nice pat on the back there. Again, Brian, you got 24 hours, man, if you're in here. So if you're not, we're drawing again later. And we're doing five randoms again. I'll keep the list. Um, so, all right, guys, that'll be it. See you guys later.